Presently, I'm not working as a registered nurse in Canada. I have my bachelor's degree in nursing, but I'm not a registered nurse yet in Canada. Emphasis on the yes because we're gonna get it. I'm still fixing on the cracks. Ciao. Hey guys, good morning. Today is August the 5th, and today is the day of my nursing exam. I've been waiting for years. My exam is by 8 o'clock. Yeah, I think this is the earliest I've ever been to any event. It's currently 4 a.m. Today is um, August the 6th. I couldn't sleep, so I'm about to check my result right now. The email just came in. It came in at exactly 4 o'clock. Oh my god, it's been a hot, a hot minute. It's been two months. Okay, let me start my introduction. Hey guys, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, you're welcome. If you're an oldie, thank you so much for coming back. My name is Neka Izaya and I upload immigration and lifestyle content right here on my YouTube channel. You're welcome and I hope you enjoyed today's video. As you can see, like, I don't even know. I'm just smiling. I'm just smiling because it's been a really, really long time. I shot a video for you guys. It's been ages. I've not been on YouTube for approximately two months. And I promise you, I have good reasons for staying off for so, so long. I just had to take a step back and take some time to prepare for the next phase of my life. As you can tell from today's video, I'm just going to be giving you guys some sort of life update slash q and A. I put a poll on Instagram telling you guys to ask me some questions because I wanted to do a Q&A session in this video as well. And you guys sent in some questions. So on the second half of this video, I'm going to be answering those questions questions if you follow me on instagram you already know the reason why i took break off youtube so if you're not following my instagram definitely check me out i try and post like snippets of my life i don't post as often but when i do i post quality content so i really don't know where this video is headed but i will just try to express myself as much as i can and hopefully i get the right word to describe whatever has been happening in my life for the past two months you kind of already have an idea why i took this long from youtube and that's because i was preparing for my canadian nursing license exam yeah, I guess you can say that, yeah. If you're new to my channel and you're not familiar with my journey, I have a bachelor's degree in nursing. I studied nursing in Ukraine for about four years. Then after that, I came directly to Canada. So it's been approximately four years since I came to Canada. Since then, I started processing my nursing license. But I would say March of 2020 was when I started actively preparing or processing my nursing license here in Canada. And it's been over two years, right? So the journey took a really, really long time i have no idea why there was always a hiccup like there's always something happening right so i knew that when time comes for me to start preparing for my exam i would just take that break so that i can just focus on it give my all write the exam and just leave the rest for god honestly so that was my my mindset about the whole thing i'm just casually saying this right now and it seems like it just happened overnight but it did not happen overnight it's a testimony and with testimonies come tests right so my patience was definitely tested some days i was just like god what is happening like why is mine taking so long but i'm really 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 grateful to god and i'm really really excited that that phase of my life is done I won't really say done because I'm still in the process, but that phase of my life is like taken care of and I came out successful in my licensing exam. So yeah, that's it for my life updates. So let's go into the Q&A part of this video. Like I said earlier, I posted like a question tab on my Instagram and some questions came in so I'm going to be answering those questions with you guys right now the first question is what's your major goal right now my major goal right now is just to prioritize my peace of mind that's it there's nothing else 
it's so important to me right now especially in this phase of my life and where i'm at right now in life that's really really important to me and i feel it should also be important to everyone prioritize your peace protect it like gold next question is you spoke about lemonade finance to send money from nigeria to canada in one of your videos try that but it doesn't work i think i spoke about that when i had like a partnership with them i think that was sometime last year in 2021 as of now they don't send money from nigeria to canada again they only send money from canada to other african countries just give me a second let me see the eligible countries just want to make sure that i give you guys like up to date um, information so right now as of today you can send money to nigeria ghana kenya senegal ivory coast cameroon benin tanzania uganda and rwanda if you're in canada and you want to send money to other african countries nigeria ghana or whatever you can use my code NECA to get 30 dollars off if you send more than 100 dollars i think i'll leave a link as well in the description box just in case you'd want a direct link to downloading the app or whatever so unfortunately right now they don't send money from nigeria to canada so sorry about that guys the next question is are you a licensed nurse now in canada if you go to the canada nurses of ontario website there's a part that says find a nurse if you type a nurse's name in canada they will be there like their names will be there but if you currently type my name there right now you wouldn't see my name there yet and that's because since i came directly from ukraine i don't have practice evidence of practice if you start your nursing process you kind of understand what i mean and i will do like a very in-depth video on my whole nursing journey how it went how i got my license and everything but today's video is just like an overview for me to be able to tick off that requirement i would have to do clinicals for about a month so that's 140 hours of clinicals before you can search for my name on the cno website and i would appear there so right now i'm in the process of being paired with a hospital or a long-term care facility in canada so i hope that explains it i mean i've done the major bulk which is passing my licensing exam because if you don't pass your licensing exam even if you have evidence of practice or you don't you won't be allowed to work as a registered nurse in canada hopefully i'll start my clinical sometime this month i think the ending of the month hopefully fingers crossed so i hope you guys kind of understand yeah so yeah that's it but yeah i'll take you guys through this process when i say i got you guys i actually do mean it so keep an eye out <laughs> next question is can i study nursing in canada without science in my wire yes you can the next video hopefully by god's grace i'm going to upload is going to be about how to get your nursing license or how to become a registered nurse in canada without having any um nursing background or science background or whatever so i'll be shooting that video with a guest of honor hopefully that video will be out after this video right so just keep an eye out subscribe and turn on the post notification so that you can get notified whenever the video comes out so the next question is <laughs> where do you see yourself in the next 24 months <laughs> this is so specific i guess that's the next two years bruh i don't know <laughs> i don't know what 24 months is gonna look like for me of course there are goals i have for myself but i just know that whatever life offers me i hope and i pray that i will be content happy in that particular situation or in that particular phase of my life so the next question is no questions just celebrating god's faithfulness you went from visa refusal to pr to rpn you will just know that this person has been following my journey right from the beginning thank you so much olama thank you like this means a lot. God has been faithful. The next question is, please, how much do you pay for your car insurance and what insurance do you use? Initially, when I got my car, I was paying 213 Canadian dollars every month. But right now, I'm paying 201 Canadian dollars. One thing that also affects the amount of money you pay for your car insurance is if you get a g license there are three major drivers license you have your g1 g2 and your g the g is the highest right so if you get your g the amount of money you pay for your car insurance is going to drop drastically so strive to get your g if you plan on coming into canada i really don't know if it's a canadian white thing but always strive to get your g so that your driver's license will drop and the car insurance i use is called the corporate the next question is how are you congratulations 
congratulations on passing your exam moving to toronto soon thank you so much i am good i'm fine i'm happy i'm good my brother and my sister by sister i mean my brother's wife they've been trying to sway me to come to that city toronto is a nice city it's beautiful it's very very good for tourism and all of that but for me personally there's just too much happening in that city it's just too busy like if i was going to visit yeah i would visit toronto like almost every weekend if i can because of like things happen there like it's a popping city right but to live in i don't just see myself there at this moment maybe sometime in the future i might but right now no the next question is did you walk whilst preparing for your nursing exams yes i did bills finna be paid i didn't go to work a day before my exams but prior to that i was working i kind of also made some tweaks i made sure that i didn't take any extra shifts i was only working my scheduled time at work and i also made sure that i worked overnight shifts because where i'm working right now nine shifts are a bit more calm subtle like they're not so busy as the day shift right so i kind of made that decision as well that okay i'll just work in night shift so yeah those are like the kind of um, adjustments i made to my schedule just so that it can accommodate me and so that i can also have time to prepare for my exams but please if you have the luxury to not work during this period when preparing for your exam please take it next question is well i just wanted to say i have missed you all i missed you too babes i missed you guys so much thank you the next question is why do you always travel solo um those times i choose to travel on my own they are for four main reasons the first is for self-awareness the second is for confidence the third is for maturity and the fourth i would say is for independence and i'm not saying this in the sense that i have reached my peak in those areas but in the sense that there are areas of my life that i want to consciously work on i'd want to consciously grow in sometimes i invite a friend right and maybe with schedule differences and you know timing and everything it might not work out so that's why but this is actually a very good question it got me thinking and reflecting so next question is hi nk the way this nk came about here yeah, is still funny hi girl hi tenny i love how disciplined and organized you are any tips or books you can recommend so i started doing this thing that i decided to read like 12 books this year but i'm just still on my fifth book because i had to take time to study for my exams but these are like the books i have read so far and i am currently reading this book right now so it's an amazing book for your journey in general in life and trying to you know balance everything next question is when would you give us a house tour house tour in this house that i've lived in almost like three years i'm not doing any house tour for this house maybe if i move probably probably but for this house no there's not going to be any house tour just in case you've not seen my room with decoration video i'll leave you right here just in case you want to have a feel of what my surrounding looks like i think this might give you an idea right <laughs> next question is what does your monthly finance priority look like um okay let me just put my notepad so that i can just read off that so i don't have to waste my time so if i was to get my bi-weekly pay first thing that comes out is my tithes 10 percent of my income then i have some automated um investment accounts so those ones are automated so they just take it out from my account immediately i get my pay every two weeks some people do that every month but i prefer to do that every two weeks so that a huge chunk is not just taken away from my soul <laughs> then the next is my rent but i don't pay for my rent with every paycheck my rent comes out for my second paycheck in preparation for the next month then i pay for my bills my phone bill my internet bill gym fee my car insurance then i have some family contributions we do as well yeah and there's like personal like charity donations i make for courses i am passionate about then the rest is for my like feeding miscellaneous enjoyment and other personal savings that i would want to work on so the next question is hi neka please share how to get a care support job and what you do when you feel overwhelmed care jobs indeed is a very good source to find jobs word of mouth is like the best to find a care job because care jobs are like they're kind of really rampant right now some company are actually less strict with the kind of people they employ and they focus more on training i would um try and find a link for care jobs in canada and i'll leave the link in the description box so definitely check it out 
if you're interested in that what do i do when i feel overwhelmed i'll just cry silently and i'll just sleep and just relax and take a deep breath one thing that also helps me is therapy therapy helps me a lot beginning of this year i told you guys i invested in therapy and i'm still going to therapy therapy really just helps me to you know express myself a bit more really really nice to just have that professional input or professional insight into your situation or whatever you're going through you can try that out as well but usually i'll just cry and sleep <laughs> so yeah Okay guys, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you learned a thing or two even though it was just basically centered around my personal life. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, share and subscribe to my channel. Just in case you have any further questions, please leave them in the comment section and I'll get to them as soon as possible. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the post notifications so that you can get notified every single time I upload a new video thank you guys and i will see you guys in my next one bye guys bye